What is going on guys, my name is Matthias and welcome to this video. So today I will be giving you guys 6 calisthenics moves that anyone can learn. So I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started. The first movement is the tuck front lever. This lever is the first progression towards the full front lever. In the tuck version we are shortening the lever which conditions the same muscles but with a reduced load. To perform the tuck front lever, start by grabbing the bar with a shoulder width apart grip. Straighten your arms and keep them straight throughout the entire movement. Begin by pulling your shoulder blades down and contracting your lats. Once in position, pull your knees to your chest by flexing your core and pulling from the lats. Do not let your hips go too high or too low in this movement, but try to keep a straight line. Next up we have the elbow lever. The elbow lever both requires balance and strength. To perform an elbow lever, you first want to become familiar with resting your elbows on your stomach. Some sports shirts are a bit slippery, so I recommend that if you have a slippery shirt on, that you take it off when you're training this movement, as it will make it a lot easier. Now you can begin the movement by placing your hands with your fingers pointing backwards. Start the movement and create a straight line by flexing your core and your legs. Do not let your legs go too high or too low in this movement, but try to maintain a straight line. Now, if you are having a hard time maintaining the straight line, you can use some of these progressions. The elbow lever with both feet on the ground and the elbow lever with one feet on the ground. The next move is a frog stand. A frog stand requires a lot of balance because you're balancing your entire body weight on your two hands. This move will help you to improve your balance in the handstand because you're using your hands in a similar fashion. To perform the frog stand, you want to place your hands on the ground and your knees on your elbows. Once in position, start the movement by leaning forward and as your feet are coming off the ground, you want to keep your balance by using your hands. If you're falling forward, you want to press your fingertips down into the ground and if you're falling backwards, you want to come back on your palms. Next up, we have the back clap push-up which requires a lot of explosive power. To perform it, get in a push-up position. Once in position, Go to the bottom movement of the push-up as fast as you can and explode up and clap behind your back. When landing, it's important that you use your fingertips and elbows to reduce the impact of the landing. Next up we have the side-to-side -side pull-up. This is a variation that's slightly harder than the normal pull-up. To perform this pull-up, you want to grip the bar around shoulder width apart or a bit wider than shoulder width apart. Then you want to pull yourself up to one side by only using that arm just pretend like you're not using the other arm and you'll perform this trick correctly. As you're getting stronger, you can put your hands further apart on the bar and you will get closer and closer to performing an archer pull-up. Last up, we have the one-arm push-up. The one-arm push-up is an impressive skill that both requires technique and a lot of strength, but you can definitely get it if you work hard. To perform a one-arm push-up, you want to create a triangle stand with your hands and your feet. You do not want to have your feet together, but you want to spread them because then you have more balance in the one-arm push-up position. Then you want to place your hand on your leg as this will help you to tension your core and keep your body stable. Then you want to go down by leading with your shoulder and pressing up by using your chest and tricep. That was the video for today. If you enjoyed the video and want me to make a part 2, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!